Yeah, I got it. Makeup Revolution Glow Splendor Bronzer. I'm actually really, really excited to try this on. I've never used a bronzer ever, 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 ever. So it's gonna be like my first impression. Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel, Ife Indala. <laughs> I'm a makeup artist here in the UK and my channel dabs into fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be reviewing Makeup Revolution Glow Splendor Oh, this is a tongue twister. Let's do that again. So Makeup Revolution Glow Splendor Bronzer. So the shade I got would be mentioned a multiple of times in my video. So if you're the type of person that skips, you're gonna miss out. So stay tuned and watch the entire video. I've pretty much done my skin, so my brows. What I'm left to do is my lips and bronzer. Guys, if you're a makeup artist, you need to get yourself this setting spray. You know when you're doing clients makeup and you're literally drenching them in like setting spray and they have that shock when you first spray them. This is not gonna give you that. This is really soft on the face and oh my God, this is really good for skin work. This is amazing. Like it just gives you that like smooth filter like effect on your face as well. Obviously you're gonna blend and blend and blend but anyways um, enough about the rumbling. Let's get to the bronzer. So the packaging isn't really anything special. It comes in a brown box. So I'm gonna start by opening. I am recording right, okay. So, right, so it says you are the revolution. Quality, affordable, cruelty-free beauty for everyone. It's actually got my name on it. I feel all special. So I ordered this on the Revolution website. It took about two days to get the bronzes sent to myself. So that's not too bad. So the customer service was actually bang on. It's very nicely packed. Oh, look at it. <laughs> I mean opening the package is not the easiest thing to be honest. Like, the bronzer comes in a rose gold mirror like packaging. I really really like the packaging actually and it's quite big. Ooh, ooh. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. So this is in the shade dark. <laughs> this is what dark looks like. And I also got it in the shade deep and this is what deep looks like. I believe the bronzers actually go from um, a light shade to a deep dark shade and it's got a mirror as well which is an extra plus I think the best thing I really like about this like I can't wait for you guys to get it like you know on snapchat filter yes this is literally like a, a snapchat filter in a bronzer because when you put this against your skin on your face like it just gives you that bronzy you know I'm on the island I've a sun kissed kind of look. So I'm gonna be grabbing my Murphy lip liner in Trendsetter. <laughs> it's currently out of stock on the Murphy's website. So once they restock here, yeah, I would be restocking up on this bad boys. So I'm just going in and blending my lip liner with my lovely paintbrush. Right, and um, that's it. It's going in with my MAC Gold Deposit. Just to give me like, you know that summer skin glow? I'm, I'm quite light on it with this as well. I don't want like too much glow. And then here, and then I'm just gonna take a bit of product. And I apply that to bridge my nose and the tip of my nose. Yeah. This is so much better now. All right, so let's get to the bronzer. So this is in the shade deep. This isn't very red, so I feel I feel like this is probably more of like contouring rather than a bronzer, if that makes sense. It's super pigmented as well, guys. Mm, actually, it's got a slight red to it, but it's not a lot. I'm just gonna go in with my brush, and we're gonna see what that looks like. Ooh, wow! So this has this this has got a lot of kickback. So um. So I would be extremely careful with that. 
yeah yeah this is not really doing anything for me man uh, like I said it's more of a contour color contouring color rather than um, a bronzing color I mean if this is really what bronzing is about I've not really been missing out yeah definitely contouring vibes but yeah I'm not getting like bronzing vibe from this mm, I don't know uh, I mean it's it's nice for like maybe oh gosh yeah I don't want to use a lot I mean yeah it's nice for like contouring your face that's probably what I'm going to use it for but to set my contour and all that but apart from that apart from that it's really not it's really not doing much to my face let's be honest it's not doing a lot I mean I wasn't really super impressed with this I feel like it sh probably should have had a bit more red in it it's a bit too neutral to pass as a bronzer um, in my opinion anyway we're gonna move on to the next which is dark lighted and deep right okay so okay this has got more reddish vibe to it so yes yeah this is definitely a lot more bronzier guys I've never used a bronzer before so I don't know I feel like it makes a difference like I can probably go without wearing I can probably go without wearing um, a blush yes I really like it like why is this my first bronzer I should have been using bronzers like years ago this makes such a massive difference like especially on my eyelid because I'm more of like a neutral nude kind of girl <gasps> oh my god Whew. guys this is what you call quarantine 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 bronze <laughs> quarantine bronze I'm really feeling myself I'm really loving up this makeup turn out so I'm just bronzing that into my skin a bit more just so it's all blended I mean I'm not so sure about this side this is just giving me <laughs> this is giving me Africa bronze vibe and this is giving me Bahamas Mauritius vibe like I feel like I'm on an island I'm like sipping on pina colada you know eating some meat pies no not meat pies what snack do you have on the island maybe you like grapes yeah so this is giving me I'm on an island and I'm sipping on pina colada you know and some grapes so for all my Nigerian girls I'm sure you can relate this side is giving me I'm chilling at Ikoyi under a nice breezy palm tree and I'm just having some cocktails with the girls it's nice and bronzy this is the dark side by the way <laughs> and the deep side is giving me Auntie, give me my puff off. <laughs> Been in the market for five hours. By local market. My color, my color, I have your size. My color, my color, pretty, hello, pretty, hello, pretty, hello, gorgeous. Hello, hello. What else did they say? Hello, brown skin girl. Come to my shelf. Come, come. I have your color. I have it, I have it. This is giving me that vibe. And this is giving me nice and bougie bronzy. So this is this is my verdict. So if you've never tried a bronzer and you're open to try one, I would definitely recommend the Revolution Glow Splendor Ultra Matte. This is the tongue twister. Like they could have just came up with like an easier name. <sighs> Revolution Glow Splendor Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer. Yes. So this is really nice and affordable and also you get decent size as well you get a lot of product in this as well for the price that you're paying for um to be honest like i i am quite impressed and um you can wear this this is beginner friendly as well you just need to be really really just don't be heavy handed because it's got a lot of kickback and it is very pigmented yeah it's a really nice bronzer and i did actually enjoy wearing this and this is definitely going to be a staple in my makeup, uh, my personal makeup kit. And definitely, I'm going to start introducing bronzers in my professional makeup kits as well. I really, really like the effect. I'm, I mean, why am I just... I'm just shook at the fact that 
I've never actually bronzed and it's 2020 and I've only just started using bronzers like that doesn't make any sense anyways this is gonna be a staple and I would definitely advise you to get that one of this I really really like it absolutely absolutely adore it yeah so that's gonna be all for now guys and um, I hope you did enjoy this video um, if you've managed to stick around this far please don't forget to subscribe comment as well do you know what in my next video I'm probably gonna be comparing the dark shade which is gonna be my everyday bronzer anyway so I'm gonna be comparing the dark shade um, of the revolution glow bronzer with the Murphy bronzer as well I just want to see if it's gonna look any different because I know the Murphy's retail 19 pounds and this is retailed eight pounds so I'm just gonna see it just to see how it turns out anyway so enough about the writing if you've managed to stick around this long please do not forget to thumbs up comment like and also click that notification bell as well so that way whenever I do upload videos you'll be notified by YouTube anyways thank you so much guys for watching as well and please comment below as well let me know if you've actually enjoyed this video and um, let me know if you're a bronzer believer as well and just drop a comment below as well if you've never used a bronzer and you've got questions you would like me to answer I'll be more than happy to answer them for you and yes so that's gonna be all for now so see you guys in my next video